Boys Power Hour Plus Episode 86. Uh... In the words of the Icon Sting, it's showtime! Also, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice also yeah. said that. Yeah, well, you know. But that is kind of what we're talking about, though. Oh, uh, is it, though? Of, well, in, we're, ta- we're talking about our... movies. We're talking about X-Men movies. Right, no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it, it, it's going to be in this episode. Sure, yes. Um, right. So, yes. Stop, you... try, stop, stop, stop trying to take things away from me. I'm not trying. I'm just trying to be honest. I'm an honest man making an honest living. I'm just an honest <laughs> man making my way through the galaxy. I sure. Boba Fett. Um, slash Django Fett. Uh, man, Mandalorian is so good. Sorry. Um, Check out Rude Boys Reacts yes, on YouTube. Yes. Good, 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 good synergy. Welcome again, Rude Nation. It's your boys. The Rude Boys, I'm sure. I'm Tom. And like I said, we're talking about the X-Men movies. Uh, we called an audible. Uh, we didn't really know what we had going on last episode for this, because we had Trade in the Backs. Trade in the Backs was huge. Yeah. That's a huge sub-genre, I think, of the Rude Boys Podcast Network. Yeah. Um, but... Three-hour episode. New Mutants finally came out earlier this year. Yep. Um, to the, uh, surprise of nobody. So, we are gonna talk about it. We have not watched it yet. We're recording this half of the episode now, and then are shambling corpses after watching New Mutants and also Dark Phoenix, because we haven't seen Dark Phoenix yet either. Um, we'll talk about those movies later on. Um, so g- get ready for the energy to drop oh when God. we come no, back. No, 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 come on. We're going to get some coffee. All right, yeah. like, we're, you know, there'll be some booze in that coffee. Sure. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to let the energy drop. I'm going to keep the end. It is my job to keep the energy up and going and not drop into limbo. Tom, as the biggest X-Man fan, and I, I caught that reference, as the biggest Good X-Man boy. fan here, between uh-huh. the two of us, three of us, Roxy's here, um, well, I mean, I really don't know. I don't know her, her if she... Maybe she's a DC know, fan. I honestly don't consider... Do you think Excalibur is a good group, Roxy? Excalibur is a fantastic group. Uh, Roxy disagrees. Um, but your soul may get crushed by the end of these two movies. There's probably a reason they came out when they came out. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, my soul's definitely getting crushed with Dark Phoenix. Sure. Um, because that, even the trailers, that looked like high yeah, trash. that has yet also the only X-Men movie you haven't picked up, right? And, or not, seen, or really, seen for that in, matter. Or, or seen in theaters. Right. Damn, Fox, was, what are you doing? Yeah. Actually, it came out prior to, uh... It came out prior uh, to, uh, yes, it did. Alright, so... Because I remember, I, I oh, remember, yeah, right, we were talking about We were like, we do we want to go? We were like, uh, retrospective. No, nah, we're not going to yeah. see it. You're right. I remember. I apologize. Book out of turn. Uh, but New Mutants obviously came out uh, during the quarantine. Um, I'm shocked. It was, yeah. I'm surprised nah. they didn't wait. <sighs> but we're going to talk about that. That's yeah. a little bit later. But for now, let's get on with the show, Tom. Who's in your mouth? Our good friends over at Miller mm. dropped off a, uh, a truckload of Miller Lite. Right to the 7-Eleven that you picked up. Yes. 18 pack. Yep. Yes. A fine Pilsner beer. <laughs> and this is going to be a fresh opening. Uh, Chris, who's in your mouth? Uh, I have uh, Miller Lite as well. Ah, Thank good. you for uh, bringing this to us. You're welcome. Uh, Tommy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and uh, in case anyone forgot, this is a fine Pilsner beer. And Mil- I also have a fresh open as well. Miller, we're still waiting. Yep. Three, two, two one. one. Ooh. it up. Yeah. That sounded like shit. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Mm, delightful. That's about half a can gone. Oh boy. Um. So. What was that about energy? Energy. Yeah, right. There we go. <laughs> Tom, you're ready to roll, baby. Let's roll right into uh. Blitzkrieg. Uh, Blitzkrieg. News. We are going to start off in games as we always do. All right. Kadabra is back in Pokemon TCG. What the fuck is Pokemon TCG, Chris? Man, this really... We got, like, no synergy with this fucking... Every time you just say the thing and, like, explain this. Um, so, Tommy, let me explain this to you. Um, As you were a back, child. A while back, uh, this uh, fake, fake psychic man, Yuri Geller, uh, sued Nintendo because the use of uh, the Pokemon Kadabra, he has, like, these um, spoons that are bent, and that's Yuri Geller's fucking gimmick. So he's just like, that's gimmick infringement. There's Get no this out of here. Um, yep, okay, sure. Uh, but then now all of a sudden he's like, you know what, Nintendo, Pokemon Company, you can use this Pokemon again. Uh, and that really just kind of just extended to the uh, trading card game and the anime. 
Uh, obviously, the Kadabra uh, and Abra and Alakazam, they were all in the video games. Sh shut up. All right, but they're back. Cool, moving on. <laughs> and people make fun of the X-Men names. <laughs> um, yeah. Super Nintendo World Japan opens February 4th, 2021. Yep. Did you see the pictures, Tom? I did not. Oh, well, it looks really dope. Okay. It looks like you're it, in a fucking Mario game. And honestly, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure it does look dope. Yeah. Um, I won't go because I can't afford to go to Japan. Sure. That's <laughs> the reason why. <laughs> and I don't believe in flying in COVID capsules. Oh, yeah. That, that's, um, all, that's also true. But it looks fucking dope, man. If I can't and drive there, I won't go. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Um, so hopefully it gives, you know, uh, with the theme park industry post-COVID, we'll see what happens. Sure. But, like, I'm, I'm excited for when uh, it possibly may hopefully come to america like, yeah that's all i gotta say about I, so we'll be still be driving down to florida because that's the only spot it'll open because it has all that swamp land well yeah and also uh i probably universal studios uh florida california yeah okay um uh 15.3 million fortniters kicked galactus's celestial ass were you part of this no i was not or um, was so, bonnie part of no, this no we were not yeah it happened uh it was like at a, a 4 p.m eastern standard time on some uh, tuesday or something like that uh but for for all his credit i play i played fortnite this year um not like super in like religiously but it does a great job capturing people um and they did this whole marvel thing tom i know uh you're obviously not keen on fortnite but you know the, the trailers look cool the costumes no, look the nice skins looked fantastic. Looked a lot better than that fucking marvel's avengers game we can all agree on that oh right? i'm so fucking low like, th that thing is fucking dropped like a fucking uh sack of bricks i think it's legit low. on sale right now for like 15.99 i think you're right some um, shit like that but like there's no player base and stuff yeah but there is a lot of players playing fucking Fortnite. Yeah. Um, so they did this whole thing where Galactus came down to the island, and then, like, the Avengers help you out, and then they you, you do, like, a Death Star trench run, and you, you throw a bomb in uh, Galactus's mouth or something like that. So, pretty cool. Segway, though, into what they're doing now. Fortnite's doing, like, some weird, like, bounty hunter thing. Um, it's got the Dingerin, the Mandalorian. Yeah. They got that skin going on. Um, there are rumors, I, uh, this is, this one was confirmed though, have Kratos, you got a, a Kratos skin, yeah, which is pretty huge, uh, there's rumors that there might be a Master Chief one coming, so you get, now you got Microsoft Synergy right there, there's also rumors there might be like a Samus one also, so you might get, uh, representatives of Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft wow. in Fortnite, and you know, it's kind of funny because I was watching all this Marvel stuff go on, and I'm like, there isn't... Uh, they did their Star Wars thing. They've done their rappers thing. Mm -hmm. Like, Marvel, obviously, just did their thing. There's not a lot of other brands out there that can really, like, get people excited like that I mean, outside of, like, a Nintendo or something like that, you know? So if this, if this brings like, them in, that would be fucking dope. I'm surprised Warner Brothers hasn't done anything, like, with DC. They, they were some a couple DC oh, things, they, yeah, but, oh, like, nothing like, to this extent. Isn't there, like, a Joker thing? Yeah, no, they, they've done a couple skins here and there, um, but, I mean, this was a huge event yeah. that they just did with the Marvel. I mean, even, like, they had fucking comics based off of it. Yeah, too, yeah, so. yeah, 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 they had covers. Yeah. Of, uh, you know, with them in it. But, yeah, no, those skins looked great. And that and seeing those, th that almost made me, that almost pulled me into the Fortnite world. Um, but it, It's a fun game. Um, it's just not something I would be like, I have to spend money on this or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, if I get a Samus skin, I might spend some money, but, but, you but, uh, but, but I'll never play it. But so. you didn't spend s skin? I also you am so spend very money. confused on what I'm buying, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, am I buying the possibility of getting it, or am I buying... The or am I actually that? buying yeah, it? Yeah, I'm very just so confused. It's, um, it's out of my I realm. Understand. It's a fun I understand. game. It's a yeah. fun game. Moving on, please, Tommy. Let's keep it this big. Nothing in comics, says Brittany. Nothing in sure. comics. What a, what a shocker. Movies. Peter Dinklage to star in Toxic Avenger reboot. I never saw Toxic Avenger. Uh, well, did you ever see the cartoon that they had? <sighs> like a couple yeah. of little things. I, I'm I, every time I think of Toxic Avenger, I think of Muck Man, the uh, the Ninja Turtle villain, who's just like this big. Sp uh, he's like their swamp sludge. Thing. Isn't he like sludge or no, something? No, called uh, what did I first? Muck Man. He was called Muck Man. Sounds like a He Man character. <laughs> It quite possibly yeah. was also. Um, that's but, pretty cool. Like you know, he'll... this was a James Gunn movie, also Toxic Avenger, the original. The original. Ooh, I'm not 100 okay. percent sure on that. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I I guess Troma's gonna be putting it out. Okay, that's who put like because you know he's from the Troma verse. Right. So. Okay. Okay. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, look forward to it. I'm sure yeah. it'll be just as good as the others. Sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> Warner Brothers will release all 2021 movies to HBO Max day and date, yeah. and I believe they're actually starting this with Wonder Woman. Well, on... yeah, but they're, they're making that commitment now but for like, next year. You know what? That Disney, you kind of got to pick it up now because – what you did with Mulan was kind of garbage. Sure. Um, for a kind of a garbage movie. Right. Um, it's free now, so if you're gonna, check it out. You well, know, free with subscription. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna charge us monthly, you know, you might as well just let us watch. You know, you want to raise the price a little bit? Fine, cool. Like, but this, this. To me, is fantastic. This is huge. Yeah, no, this is absolutely um, huge. As someone who's, uh, I mean, we, we got HBO Max. Uh, really, uh, in the we're gonna just about to pull the trigger uh, to watch Dark Phoenix. Uh, Lord help us! This is pretty big. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, uh, some of the Warner Brothers movies, the the, the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um, what else, Tom? I'm drawing a fucking blank. Any DC movie? Any DC um, movie coming out 2021? Yeah. Uh, uh, Matrix. Tom and Jerry. Matrix Four. Dune. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just there's a lot. There's, Wait, too, many, there's too many. To there's going to be a lot of rude boys go to the movies. I, I say in the future. We'll be talking about this. Yeah, now so. that it's accessible to you boys in the safety of the studio. Yep, yep, yep. There you yep. go. What is so? What time? What does it say about theaters? Are theaters gonna be fucking extinct? See, I don't. I I, I still say that you know theater. You know the movie industry, like going to movies, could still be saved. Um, let's reopen some like do drive-throughs again. They were I'm doing that. Surprised they, they didn't really. They were doing that during that. the summer a lot, right? Uh, but with the winter now, it's you know, it's tough. Yeah, it's a little harder. They can put a goddamn man on the moon. They can set up a fucking 4K projector in a field. What AMC. I, I mean, get off your fucking crying horse. What I don't get is, cause like, all right, so the theaters are still like, you know, you still have seat, seat, seat. Why not? Why haven't they put up like some sort of like dome, like? Over or those seats. People? Oh, I don't know. Um, or like you know, maybe you know, spend the money and put plexiglass between each each seat. I mean, yeah, it'd be a lot of money, but also be like, how are you gonna watch behind them? No, 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 no. Kind of like you have a seat, and then you have like the you know, stick with the drive-through idea. This this idea. Drive-through, you're, you're, you mean drive-in? Drive-in, whatever. Fuck off. Yeah. Move on. Yeah, Give sure. Creek. <laughs> well, you're the dumb. AMC, give us a call. We'll save uh, your business, hundred percent. Rumor watch. Let's talk about it. We got some rumors. Alfred Molina in the third Spider-Man movie as Doc Ock, possibly. <sighs> we actually talked about this. We did. Yes. Um, I hate talking about more. I hate talking about these rumors. I just give me this information, man. Like I'm just, I want to know. Yeah. And we might be getting some sort of first look at Spider-Man this month. I believe. Yeah. If yeah. Sony uh, sticks to that. Um, but I just want to know what the hell is going on, you sure. know? Like, just give it to me. Agreed, agreed. Um, but yes, with, with the, the, the very heavy confirmed, is it confirmed, nobody knows, rumor God. that, um, uh, uh, Jamie Foxx is reprising his role as Max Dillon in know. this Spider-Man movie. I forget, in Amazing Spider-Man 2, did he die? Or he like uh, went into I, the electric field. That movie. Uh, but I'm wondering, know. how are they gonna bring back Doc Ock? Because Doc Ock died in the second. Doc one. Ock, he, he drowned. It. He drowned. He could get brought back. It's a fucking comic book movie. Comic book movie. Sure. Exactly. They'll make something happen. They'll Doctor Strange will pull him out from the multiverse sure, like the second sure. he hits the ground uh, underneath the fucking Hudson River or whatever that gotcha, is. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, they'll make it work. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. But this, if if we're going to go with these rumors, uh, you know, then you have a, presumably Electro in the mix, Dr. Octopus in the mix. You have already Vulture in this universe. Mysterio died. Did he die? I don't know. Give me William Defoe as Norman almost again. almost there. Without that shitty costume. Bring back fucking uh, Thomas Hayden Church. And then give me... Okay. Craven. Off the top of your head. Cast him. Go. Joe Mangiello. That's pretty good. I would say, <laughs> say Jason Mola. That, that would be a good, mm. he'd be a good Craven. I, I, I like you, you need the Russian. I understand that. But He's like, too tiny, though. Moma, is he? Moma's a tiny dude. Yeah. Uh, Carl Drogo, really? Carl, yeah. I mean, Craven wasn't really like a, a big heavy hitter. I, he was. He, I, I picture him. I mean, I was reading from Craven stuff. We'll talk about it later. 
Um, I just picture him kind of, he's a hunter, you know, he's, he is imposing, yes, it's his figure, it's his presence, however, it's, you know, he's still sleek, he's agile. Right. You know? Um, I think, I think, uh, J-Mo would Actually, be no, wow. Yeah, okay, I thought he was a lot shorter. 6'4". Yeah, he could do it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know I, yeah, I, I, call. Just moment, we'll, we'll get you in touch with, um, I'd say a, uh, Ian Pascal and, yeah, uh, Kevin Feig. Definitely yeah, a, uh, toss we'll up between, uh, We'll get you work, don't worry. A toss up between, uh, Joe Manch. Joe Manch. Joe Manch and, uh, J Mo. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you could bring in, um, Sophia Vergara's as the scientist. So. At, no, as the uh, scientist wife to Craven from yeah, the animated she, she series. Turns and she becomes Calypso. Oh really? Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, you're rewatching Spider-Man, aren't you? That does that happen in the? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure. I don't know. Like I've been watching it, like zoning in and out and drinking. So understandable. Um, let's talk about some more rumors uh, in the because I don't know if this movie. I'll talk about this because this is a little more in my wheelhouse. Um, there is a, a rumor, a heavy rumor. It, it's been in production forever. Um, a uh, Metal Gear Solid movie put out by um, uh, Jordan Voight Roberts or, or whatever the hell his name is. He's the director of. Uh, video game movie. <laughs> Too smart for me. Meh. That's what I'm hearing right I'm now. I'm saying um, another shitty video game movie. Yeah, I yeah I heard you. All right. Anyway, um, he's a very passionate filmmaker. He did Kong Skull Island. Um, okay. He he's very passionate about okay. Metal Gear Solid, and the rumor is now that Oscar Isaac, because this guy can't get work clearly. Uh, might be Solid Snake. Um, so we will see him betraying people. Oh God, no, Solid Snake never betrayed anybody. Everyone be tr- betrays him. Isn't he like a clone of a clone of a, another clone of a, a, a is, big boss of Daddy clone? Boss? Um, he is kind of a clone. He's he's made of the genetic makeup of Big Boss. Yes. Okay. Um, but it was like in vitro or some guy. shit. Big boss, big boss is a, a nuanced character, man. This is this Metal Gear Solid, very nuanced. All right, yeah. In the same sense, you have yeah, and then you got people called Hot Cold Man, and like, what's his powers? Like, oh, yeah, it's, 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 that fucking reaction face. Look at me, like, uh, what? I'm sorry. Wait, Hot, Hot cold, cold Man. man? Hot Cold Man. Yeah, there's a character called Hot Cold Man. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Are you playing Metal Gear or Mega Man? <laughs> it's Metal Gear. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, positive, yeah. I mean, you, you can't tell, especially with all the, uh, you know, Sniper, Wolf, Vulcan, Raven, Liquid, Snake. Like, yeah. A lot all of, I gotta say stuff. is, I mean, sorry, I'm not trying to hijack you. No, go right ahead. One of the worst things was the, uh, I think it was on PlayStation 1, uh-huh. where you had to unplug a controller, plug, plug it into brilliant. port 2. Yeah, no, no, no. It was brilliant, but I was just like... What the fuck is going on? Brilliant. Absolutely Very cool. Brilliant. I, yeah, I, I no, see, it, I liked it. But then, like, I don't know, when Metal Gear came to, like, PS3 and such, mm-hmm. I was like, nope. Kojima definitely me. got up his own ass. I'll, I'll, I will be yeah. the first to admit that. However, um, I still love the franchise. Um, it is just, it, it's, it's incredible. Um, and you gotta, you're not going in for, like... Shakespearean writing. No, you know what I mean? It's like, I love Star Wars. The writing is shit. Absolutely. But I love watching it. I'm invested, and I dig it. This is the same thing with Metal Gear. Yeah. So. I mean, I I, 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 I know that, like, the, there were debates, I remember, between, like, oh, uh, what's better, Metal Gear or Tom Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell? Okay, as far as, like, stealth. Yeah, and, and me, okay. I'm like, well, if I have a gun... I'm going in blazing. Tommy's not stealthy. Yep. Uh, well, to the point where, and I've told you, where I would put people to sleep, put right. them in a locker, put C4 in the locker, and then blow it up. He's also a psychopath. <laughs> oh, yes. I may, I may have some issues. No, sure. Okay. I may have some issues I have to work out. Call okay? the police. Yep. Help yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> he has me chained to the boiler. All right, so we'll, but we'll see what's going on with this rumor. Yeah. The movie has never, it has never been confirmed. Right. Um, so but this, this is, like, is like the he... most confirmed, confirmed thing. Yeah, no. Nah. But, I mean, in the same sense that, like, you know, it, it goes hand-in-hand hand with all these Marvel talks. Sure. Is that, like, oh, so-and-so is pegged to play this character. And it's like, uh... And then that, that, that actor or actress is just like, no? Yeah. Because, again, are they playing us because it's like it's not confirmed it hasn't been announced at comic-con you know what i mean sure like you know the world's in a different place what are we gonna do we obviously would have known i feel a lot more 
than what we're if there were proper cons. Exactly. Yes. If there was a, if there was a way to communicate this stuff sure. to the public in such an extravagant fashion that Hollywood is used to. Okay, but you know Hollywood is also used to Twitter now. So get on the fucking twi- Twitter machine and What's tweet what? this out. That's what they're doing. I okay. That's what it, ah. Moving um, on yes. to TV. Yep. Um, there is a hashtag save Daredevil to bring to bring Charlie Cox. Yes. And your rude boys are big supporters of well, that. Well, yes, because um, uh, I, I think <clears throat> it, it is definitely now past the moment yes. where Marvel Studios can use uh, yep. the character Daredevil. Yep. Um, apparently they also can use the character of uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist because I think those shows canceled – before Bef- prior yes. to Daredevil, yep, 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 yep. Um, they can't use Punisher yet, or Jessica, or Jessica Jones. Okay, all right. I feel like there was another character that they could use for some reason, just was never. I, I don't, I don't really. Recall. Probably what's I think her actually name? Electra. Colleen Wing, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. It might, might have been Electra. Okay, but so cool. Daredevil is now in back in the hands of Marvel Studios. So do the we'll right see what thing. Happens. Put him in Spider Man. Transformers War for Cybertron returns December 30th. Yep, so this is the second part of the uh, War for Cybertron series. Okay. Uh, the first one was called Siege. I have no idea what this one's called, um, but it's more Transformers stuff. It was great cartoon. Uh, it came out earlier this year. It's like six episodes or something like that. Really good stuff. Okay. Yeah. You uh, saw it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I watched it before you. Yes, you did. Um, so so not, I... Huh? And the third one's going to be Beast Wars. No, he's... I forgot to put no. this. I forgot to put this on the notes, but uh, apparently Xavier Woods is going to be like the main host of the uh, new uh, G4 station. Yeah, he, he's going to be on G4, which I th- I think is cool. Um, uh, definitely, he's definitely future proofing himself. Sure. Did um, you see they also did like a Attack of the Show reunion uh, around Thanksgiving? Yeah, I, well, I, I saw that they did on. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, like from what I saw, like you know, you got you know, you had Ryan Pereira come back, Olivia sure. Munn, like you know the usual. So. I'm like, you know what? I I, I kind of hope they're on there too, cause right. I, I I like the uh, the energy that they all yeah, had no, they, together. Yeah, they all had um, they're, they're good personalities back in the day. Um, yeah. but they still are obviously in the game industry by association. Um, oh, but like even like I I, I thought like Olivia Munn would kind of be like, kind of past that because like. Oh, too big for this. Right, but like she was, she was still man movie. She was still doing all the stupid like bullshit, right. which is awesome. Like she didn't forget That's where she came from. Yeah, she didn't exactly. forget her roots, sure. which is awesome. And I kind of hope the whole G four thing just isn't just a blip. Like you know, like yeah, I know. Me I, too. I, I hope it it does well. That's all. I'm me too. Say about that. Uh, absolutely. Yes. And I think Xavier Woods is probably a very good choice. Oh, he's obviously got a hell of a personality. Loves the games industry. Yeah. And yeah. Dude, shit, they're going to be in a game. Yeah. Um, moving on. Speaking moving on. of wrestling. Wrestling, whoa. yeah. Holy crap. All right, so AEW did their Winter is Coming event. Right. This, pa- um, this past Wednesday. As this per, past Wednesday as per recording. And posting. Yeah. And posting. Yeah. So, you know, you had... Shit went crazy. Like, I was bouncing back and forth between this and the Go Home show of... Of uh, war games for NXT, I was like, All right, I'm gonna just focus on NXT because I've watched a little bit more the past couple of weeks. Shit went crazy in Dynamite all of a sudden. They definitely uh, pulled um, the trigger on a lot of things. They really the fucking did. <laughs> there was a match between Cody Rhodes uh, and Darby Allen versus uh, Brian Cage and no uh, Will Hobbs. Yeah, Brian Will. Uh, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. Right? Ricky Starks Ricky and uh, Starks. Will Hobbs. Okay, well, that guy's a fucking beast. Will Hobbs, he's, he's a big like, boy. Yeah. He looks it. Um, and then at the end of the match, all of a sudden, fucking Sting shows up, like the icon it's gotta Sting. Be Sting. Yeah. And it's just and 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 and, and it and, like you know it fades out with him staring down Cody and Arn Anderson, and I'm like, what the fuck is right. going on? Now, of course, huge you, huge moment. Yes. Of course, you have. AEW fans who are like, man, bringing in old WWE guys is all is bad. But then as soon as fucking Sting shows up, they fucking like become twelve year old kids again. But at the same time, it's like I guess Sting's like you know Legends contract is done. Oh yeah, no, like, he, he, yeah. But I, I feel like earlier this year, um, they took his merch off the shop. Really? Um, and that was a little bit of a red flag. 
that uh, interesting was going on. That things were done stuff, stuff laps. Yeah, because sure. I mean, so I'm, I'm going to be honest, man. Like, I think Sting was given a raw deal. Absolutely. Um, and with uh, that uh, WrestleMania uh, match, and then him getting hurt. Well, yeah, that, and also just like he's a WCW guy, so he yeah. Vince was never going to let him, and he was way past his prime. Don't Absolutely. Know, but you know, uh, McMahon was never going to let him hold you know, the title. Yeah, I mean, we've said the same thing about like AJ prior to him coming in. Like, oh, there's no way. He's a TNA guy, you know? But go figure. That's a lot of Triple H, though. Like, sure, AJ. But, but that's also a lot of AJ. And AJ yeah. was and AJ on the AJ, rise, his yeah. age at the time. Yeah, no, he's, sure, he's sure, great. Sure. Sting is an icon, don't get me wrong. However, um, he wasn't able to uh, actually get a win in WWE. No, no. Um, still went into the Hall of Fame, got some merch, got some figures, got some uh, toys, and... Uh, he made the money. Yeah, he made the money. He made the money, and, and now uh, he's... Uh, he's uh, on, yeah. So, but then, the main event for this event right. was <clears throat> John Moxley, uh, formerly known as uh, Dean Ambrose, and uh, the overrated uh, Kenny Omega. Um, I don't see the big deal Okay. about him. I never have, I never will. Uh, the coolest thing I ever saw him do was take a UFO from... Uh, Cesaro. Cesaro in Ring of Honor, and he used a Hadouken, and he and the shorts he was wearing at the time were the symbiote. Were, right. were, had the symbiote symbol sure. on. Sure. That was the coolest thing he's ever done, in my professional opinion okay. of wrestling. Uh, <laughs> Take a move and do a one move. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Um, so he wins, but with the help of Don Callis, who's like. His, like, legit, like, uncle or some shit. I think they're friends or something. Like, like Oh, like, yeah, yeah like, he, mentor, but, yeah. like, you know, but, like, he's been there for, like, you know, Kenny and his family. Right. Um, so... He is also an exec at a Impact. Exactly. Wrestling. So then... Kenny Omega beats John Moxley. Right. In, you know, k Yeah, shenanigans, shenanigans happened and such, and... Moxley probably needs time off because he has a baby on the way. Um, but, like, all of a sudden, Don Callis goes, like, uh, a -D uh, Impact didn't screw AEW. AEW screwed AEW. And then he's just like, you can hear more from the champion on Impact this yeah. Tuesday. And it's like, what the fuck is going on now? It's pretty dope, yeah. Is it, like, is this some sort of synergy going on between them? I mean, definitely. Is yeah. AEW kind of dropping the fucking checkbook? Because the cons have money. Yeah, They but, have fucking I, money. I, I, are they I buying don't, I don't Impact? I don't, I don't think they are. Or is this I, I some sort of just... synergy? Because I know they wanted synergy with New Japan. And they, they've had that. But they never really did anything with it. Right, yet. because I think New Japan was a little salty that... Most of the, like their big guys at the time left to start this company. Right. Well, uh, you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do. Man. Which I understand. Like, you, know, you gotta I, make business. I I understand on both ends. Right. But like yeah like if this is the shot that pro professional wrestling needs right now then fine cool I you know what Tuesday I will tune in on to Impact uh, look for the Rude Boys to uh, be hashtagging. Okay. On you know our social medias, I just put myself in a hole, didn't you? I? Really did, God, yeah. Because I'm gonna do this. I shit. know you are. Um, You're the wrestling um, reconnaissance guru. man. I know. So. Uh, so yeah, should be very interesting. All right, what else? Uh, so, so that was wrestling news. Mm -hmm. Um, so we got to move on to some. We got to do some sad. Uh, some fucking sad news. super yeah. sad, man. Yep. Oh my god. So yeah, you know here at uh. Rude Boy Nation in uh, the studio, we always like to celebrate the lives of iconic people. Yes. Um, we lost the, uh, David Hemblin. Really hope I said that sure. name correctly. It looks like it's correct. Right. Uh, he voiced Magneto in the X-Men animated series. Which is another loss, uh, obviously in the same year. So, uh, from that same show, also. Yeah. The, the voice actor who did Cyclops. Yeah, well, seriously. What the fast. fuck? Yeah. Uh, we also lost the great David Prowse. I believe that's the pronunciation. Uh, of his name. Who was the body of Darth Vader. Yep. In, in the original trilogy. In the original At least, trilogy. I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it was Hayden Christensen in uh, Revenge of the Sith. Okay. And I don't know who played him in Rogue One. 
but mm. um, definitely David Prowse Still, was like, the, the, I, the body for Vader right. and the, the stand-in voice until um, they dubbed it over with uh, James Earl Jones. Right, and didn't you say he trained uh, Christopher Reeve? He trained, yeah, he's a big bodybuilder guy. Yeah. He's a big guy. He, he did a lot of stuff, I, I think, with uh, Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno. Um, but he also did train Christopher Reeve uh, while he was getting ready for Superman. So that is another... Uh, uh, I guess a uh, feather in his cap. He was also some sort of creature called the Jabber uh, Jabberwocky. Okay. In I think a Terry Gilliam movie. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, uh, but again, another playing a big, a big guy. I mean, a big monster. Vader prop would never be as imposing if he didn't have no, that frame. Obviously, the voice, not. the the atmosphere, the energy that just the costume alone can deliver, but right. the performance and the just the, the just, body, just the man yeah. in the suit. Yeah. Added so much to what Vader is. Yeah. Uh, another law, and this is this is a big one. Um, I mean, granted, you know, like, they're all getting up there. Yeah. Uh, Pat Patterson. Yep. Uh, first Intercontinental Champion. Right. Um, uh, father of the Royal Rumble, yep. which you know the Royal Rumble this year is going to be huge now. Sure. Um. Like, just seeing the outpouring in support of this, oh, like, yeah. great man um, from, like, wrestlers from, like, all over. Like, yeah. just, ah, uh, what a bad week. Yeah, no, what it, a bad it, week. It's, it's um, pretty terrible. Um, they, they, they've they been doing the Ten Bell Salutes on good. every show. I, because I think he passed away at, after Raw. Like, I don't I, th- I, don't, I, I think don't. on Tuesday. <clears throat> I think he passed away on, like, Tuesday or right. Wednesday. So I'm sure Raw will be doing a oh, 10 sure, yeah. salute. Oh, sure, yeah. I know, yeah, AEW did Raw um, well, Oh, so. did they? See, I because uh, I was watching NXT, sure. and NXT did NXT one. Sure. So. No, yeah, obviously he's been in the WWE family yeah. for and on, decades and yeah. decades. They did uh, one on SmackDown, and yeah, Vince was there. I honestly thought Jared Briscoe passed, but no, I think that was, was his brother. No, he I think. Yeah, his, his brother passed. But um, they but, but they yeah, had Jared Briscoe on SmackDown right, last night. Yeah. Big mutton chops. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, cool. I have seen how he looks. Yeah, um, I was like, all right, cool, man. But yeah, no, like you know, it's a it's very sad moment. So, sure. to you three gentlemen yes. who have shaped our childhood in ways different ways, we uh, salute you and yep. rest, rest in, in power. power. At ah. And uh, I believe on that note, I think we'll wrap up uh, Blitzkrieg News. Yeah. Alright. Chris. Yeah, Tom. What you been up to, my man? Are we catching up? We gonna catch up. All We're right. gonna play some catch, and we're gonna go up. Uh-huh. And we're going to catch up. God damn it. All right. What am I moving up to? Cool. Um, train the backs hit last episode. Okay. And um, I kept going. I kept going with the reading. I see that, my um, man. I, I I, I'm proud. I, I mean, you know, mm-hmm, you're I did reading. talk about this last... Thanks. I did talk about this last episode uh, with Absolute Carnage. Read that. Uh, and the next one I picked up was Spider-Man the Gauntlet. Okay. Um, this was a uh, this is a very uh, acclaimed Spider-Man tale. Um, pe- as far as like the more modern tales go, like you know with Spider-Verse, Spider-Island, Spider-Geddon, um, it, this is up there also with things like the uh, Alien Symbiote mm-hmm. Saga, the death of Gwen Stacy, the death of John DeWolf. Like as far as good Spider-Man tales, death of Craven. Uh, yes, thank you. Last hunt. Last hunt. Hey, good segue. So the Gauntlet effectively acts almost as a sequel to that. Um, the premise of the Gauntlet and, by association, the next storyline after that called Grim Hunt deals with the uh, the Cravenoffs, um, basically just trying to fuck with Spider-Man to get him into a position so they can resurrect Craven. I'm not going to get too far into the details with that because I'm going to, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll hand this over to you, Tommy, nice. or maybe we'll do the Trade the Backs Volume 4. Who knows? Um, if you have I, a question, Tommy? Go right ahead. If I remember, I mean, just from stuff that I, because mm-hmm. uh, my fingers are always in there. Sure. I believe Craven hates his daughter because she's a mutant? I, I don't, 
Or, like, there's clashing because she is a mutant. Well, there is... Or maybe it's the mother who doesn't like her because she's a mutant. It, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. Cause... I know his so, daughter yes. isn't liked because she's a mutant. That's all I know. Well, they brought in um, Anna Craven. And she gets her face ripped off. They brought in Anna Craven off, um, who is the daughter of Craven the Hunter, in a, um, a, a little... It's called Craven's First Hunt or something like that. It was just a little quick collection, four issues. I read it. I liked it. Uh, basically, it, it does set a lot of this stuff up. So, yes, you would need to know uh, the, uh, you know, Fearful Symmetry, Death of Craven the Hunter, mm-hmm. that storyline. You would need to know also a little bit of another storyline called Grim Hunt, which took place uh, in the heat of the Clone Saga. Craven's son, um, I think his name was just the Grim Hunter or something like that. If, if, I don't remember. It was Vladimir Kravenov. Um, he goes to, I think he's attacking Scarlet Spider, um, and then he gets killed by Kane. It's gotta be Kane. Um, so there's that okay. that goes into this. Um, so what the gauntlet basically is, uh, and which is the thing, is it brings back a lot of Spider-Man's iconic foes: Electro, Lizard, Rhino, Sandman, um, Doc Ock, Doctor Octopus. I have not seen in this. Um, I think he he's probably being kept at this point for it's Superior a lot of his Spider-Man. Like, it, it's a lot of his that like. Saga. Is it, it, it's like. Minus Electro, like, a lot of his, like, animal totem characters, uh, Honestly, right? a lot of his villains are kind of animal Except for Electro. Anyway. Yeah, except for Electro. Yeah. Yes. Um, but they all kind of get a little bit of a tweak to their characters. Um, the first story is um, deals with Electro basically getting recharged, and he almost becomes a... Uh, what am I trying? Almost like a revolutionary, because when you take the character of Max Dillon, who is a... a, a an electrical lineman mm-hmm. who got injured. Um, they play that up like he's just like he's kind of just a, a, a blue collar dude who got all these powers. He kind of can't control them really fully right. because he's basically a walking battery, um, and he's tired of getting stepped on. So he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna get the people in New York to kind of just like support me, and you know I'm the good guy now because like at this time in the comics. Um, uh, shield fell. The, right. the scroll invasion happened. So um, you have Hammer right now. Yes. Yeah, so you have yeah. Hammer. Um, and New York is just like, like, what's going on? The Daily Bugle was bought out by a billionaire or something like that, and he got a bailout. So everyone's just like, what the fuck's going on? It's during the summer, so there's a heat wave. People are angry. It's really well written. I think all these tales are super good. Um, Rhinos is really good. Um, I've we heard, did talk about a little bit with Rhino with Clone Conspiracy. I've heard Rhinos is really good yes. because that's what we talked about with Clone Conspiracy. Yes. That that's where this thing happens. Yeah. yeah like he's like Rhino just he, wants to be left alone. He's trying to with hang his it up. Wife, and yeah. He's trying to hang it up. And then exactly. Bringing him back in because he's the man in the Rhino suit. Like yeah. that's that's yeah. really what it comes down. And to. like Spider Man's the one that talks him into wearing it again. Yeah, incredibly well written. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. every tale in this? this thing right now. So um, obviously it was it was pretty much helmed by uh, Dan Slott is a huge part okay. in this. However, what I really like about this is that it's almost every three issues deals with one of the villains in particular, and it's it seems like it's just a different crew working on that book. Okay, uh, it's different art. Um, I don't know if it's different writers. Don't hold me to that because obviously the first thing I look at is the art. Um, but it just has a, such a great cohesive nature to it, even though every couple pages it's a different art style. And hmm. I really did dig it. I'm really at the tail end of it. Like I feel like I got the the bulk of the whole Gauntlet and Grim Hunt tale. Um, and then there's just like some side stories and stuff at the end. But I this was cool. This was nice. really cool. Yeah, yeah, no, it seems like a really cool story. I remember yeah. hearing about it. Um. Very cool. Yeah, and I'm glad I was able to finally get the collection, because I know for a while they were just only spitting out uh, maybe, like, collections of maybe six issues apiece. Right, right. This right, one right. has, like, they, they cut it into two big old books. Nice, nice. So this is good, and you'll be taking a look at this, Tom. And you got it point. at a local comic book shop, Grasshoppers? Local comic book shop, Grasshoppers. Yep. That is correct. Shop uh, local nation. Out, always. Um, yeah, that's all I've read, Tommy. What have you been up to? Let, let's just, let's I read back, a little. Let's go back and forth. Well, I read a. Uh, I mean, I, I, I sometimes I, I go back and I re- like reread shit. Sure. Uh, right now, I'm reading uh, Identity Crisis, which is a DC story. Uh, it, it's written like a um, a mystery novel. Okay. Uh, because the guy who writes it is he's actually a mystery writer. 
Ah, uh, just really good. I don't want to go too far into details because, uh, yeah, you may be reading some DC. Okay. Um, don't worry. It's not. It, it's not torture. It's like uh, some Chris Claremont shit I made you read. Yeah, whatever. Um, okay. and it won't be an omnibus. <laughs> I got through the one, so you I mean, I'm sure I can get you through. Did. I mean, I got through. Two. I did read Absolute Carnage. Sure. So omnibus, so yeah. Uh, I have been. You been watching some stuff? Yeah, like? some uh, Christmas horror flicks. Okay. Uh, so like, what 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 do you got? Because I mean, uh, I watched what what, what, you, what is there? I watched what, 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 what is there? What is there? What is there? Tell me about. Okay, so uh, watched uh, Black Christmas, the original, where it's like you know the classic is are the phone calls coming in from the house? It's a slasher flick. It's okay. um someone one of the first slashers, right? Yeah, nineteen seventy four. Okay, someone's going around killing like the sorority sisters. Okay. Uh, the main girl in it, she was actually – she played Juliet in the Romeo and Juliet. Not the one, obviously, with Claire Danes and – Sure. But, like, the one that I'm sure you watched in school, like, from the 1960s. Okay. She was also in uh, the Stephen King's It, uh, okay. the Tim Curry one. She played Bill's wife. Okay. Adult Bill. Sure. Well, um, obviously. Yep. Uh, she was in it. Uh, ve- very cool, like, you know – it, it, it's a thinker. Okay. It's like, it, it's like, was she doing it? Like, or are they all, cr- like, is she right. crazy? Like, does she have split personality and she was doing it? It's kind of a thinker. I watch, Then I watched the uh, 2019 one. Okay. Um, it was good. Um, good, not great. Yeah, I mean, they really <clears throat> went into, like, the occult stuff. Oh, all right. And cult. Right. As well. Um, and I do know I did see the 2006 version a while ago that okay. I, I want to revisit. Might as well. Um, Might as well complete the trilogy. Ab- absolutely. The same yeah. movie. But the, the 2019 again again. one was, was okay. Okay. It was, it was you know. Right. Um, and then I watched a Christmas horror story. Okay. Where it's three different stories. Mm-hmm. And William Shatner is the narrator as a Always good. radio DJ. Okay. Um, Santa Claus is going around and a zombie outbreak has happened in the North Pole. And Santa Claus is going around fighting his elves. Nice. Then there's a little boy who gets body switched with this, like, changeling. Okay. So, as lo- like, for as long as these this creature is inhabiting this boy... He's, like, tucked away somewhere, and his life energy is getting taken away. So the mother's like, I gotta get you back to where you gotta go. Sure. And then there's a family, uh, like, a horrible family that is, deals with uh, the Krampus. Family. The Krampus. Which um, I think, as per recording, <laughs> in legend, today is the day where the Krampus starts taking kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Good. so, you know, be nice, kids, or the yeah. Krampus will... Take you, put you in put your you in sack. Yes, and probably beat you and death, bring you to I hell. Uh, yes, take with, you to hell <laughs> with the barbed wire whip. Um, <laughs> I think that's what Krampus does. Take I think you to hell. Yeah. No, no, it is. It is. It's, uh, it's fucking, yeah. The guy who plays Santa Claus, Germans, free people, absolutely. Um, the guy who plays Santa Claus is the voice actor of uh, the Beast in. X Men animated series. Oh, nice! And I was like, I know that voice. And I look him up. I was like, Oh, that's why I know that voice. So, uh, very cool. There are twists and turns. Very twisty. I like that. I believe, uh, you know, you and Bonnie enjoy like movies with twists and turns. We do. Yeah, we love some twisty movies. If it's on, you know, honestly, if it's on, I don't remember if it's on Prime. But if it's on Prime, maybe we'll uh, give it a whirl. There's a lot we're giving a whirl. I'm just saying this right now, but well, maybe at another date. It's also, as per recording right now, it's still early. True. So, don't worry. As per recording, we still got two movies we're looking down the, gun, the barrel of. We got this. All right. Um, Any other movies you've seen, Tommy? Nah. Okay. I watched um the Netflix documentary series. Uh, it's called Don't Fuck With Cats. Yeah, what the fuck is this? So, um... Basically, what happened, uh, in real life, there was a viral video that went out of uh, uh, this individual um, 
being um, I, I'm going to try to sugarcoat this best I can. Being really not nice to cats. So yes, you see Tom's face says it all, my friend. Hence why the title is called "Don't Fuck with Cats." And your face echoes a lot of the people they interviewed because they were just people on Facebook, you know. And this video gets shared, and they're in an uproar. They're like, "Who the fuck did this?" You know yeah. what I mean? Sure. And the power of the internet is obviously uh, can be a, a gross, awful, uh, wretched hive of scum and villainy. Whoa. Or it can bring people together to try to uh, for one common goal. So they saw this video and they're breaking it down. They're like, "Okay, um, his bed sheets were bought. Could have been bought at this location." Or um, that outlet doesn't look American, so it might be someplace in Russia or whatever like that. They basically kind of try to hone in on this guy to the point of uh, it, it's it's like detective work almost. Really? Um, yeah. And obviously, it's also you know on one side it could be super creepy that people are actually spending their time to do this, but on the other end, I can this agree, guy yeah. fucked with some cat, so we got to bring him down to justice. Sure. Um, but then it goes a little bit. A little haywire. Um, okay. Because the, the, the guy, and this gets talked about in the first episode, so it shouldn't be really much of a spoiler, he is very vain. He is, he, is, he basically has the mentality of a serial killer, and he loves fucking that Catch Me If You Can movie um, with uh, DiCaprio and Tom Hanks. So, like, he is leading these people... On a wild, go uh, not a wild goose chase, but on a chase. And sounds like a real piece of shit. He is a piece of shit. Um, but it's it's a really interesting documentary um, because you do get a little bit of like what like this guy's like fucking nuts. But you kind of understand what he is, you know. Like mm -hmm. obviously he's a fucking bad bad man. Yeah. But it, it, it's a matter of just like oh he was doing this because of this and he was doing this because of that. Yeah, it, it's a fucking ride, man. Um, there are parts, and again, like it's it's not something that they really do show, but they really do talk about a lot of subject matter like that. And I mean, we I feel like we you and I have had conversations like this. Like you know, you can the movie John Wick, Keanu Reeves is killing hundreds of motherfuckers left and right, but, but you because kill... one dog got killed, the audience is an uproar. Absolutely, John Wick same kills thing. motherfuckers. Yep. Yeah, same thing with American Psycho, where he. He picks up a cat because he thinks he sees an ATM saying, feed me a dead cat. And he has the gun to the cat. And then all of a sudden he turns and shoots an old lady. And the whole theater that I was in goes, oh, thank fucking God. We <laughs> all said that at once. Right. Like, yeah. You don't you fuck know, with cats. You don't fuck with animals. You can, yeah, exactly. Yes. You, you know, you don't fuck with animals. Right. Um, I hope this guy got arrested. Or is he I mean, still at it, large? It, it, it happened in history. He did get arrested, yes. Good. Um, so it, it should be no spoiler Buckle. there. Um, but really, the ride that you go on is like it's just like yeah, that went places. Um, but again, like the subject matter, especially when they're talking about videos like that, it is it it is a little um, nauseating. It's sickening. Um, Netflix does not obviously show the videos. They show enough that even then you people could still be a little like, mm, like I'm going to skip ahead like, you know, two see, minutes, you know? See, like, I saw, like, perusing mm -hmm. Netflix, I saw that pop up, and I was like, oh, this looks like cats just being assholes. Sure. Because I, that's yeah. what I thought it was. Right. Um, yeah, no, fuck, fuck that, and honestly, as, but like, yeah, like you said, they don't show enough, uh, kind of fuck Netflix for putting it up. All right. No. Okay. That that's not that's not really the high horse that you need to you need to be on right now. Uh no, it is. You don't need to be on that soapbox. Okay. Uh, I feel I like so. like they, they definitely they wanted to tell the story mm. and they did and they, they told it to the best of their ability. We will agree to disagree. All right. Cool. I can live with that. But I'm right. <laughs> Where are the buttons? I don't know. Are they actually gonna work? If that didn't work, I would have been so fucking happy. I'm glad. Um, don't Sorry. scare the dog. That, I... That's the sequel. Don't scare the dog. <laughs> I'm gonna make that Netflix documentary right now. Netflix, give me a call. I'll whip it up in uh, 24 hours. It's just us clapping and Roxy being like, "Oh fuck!" Exactly. Yeah, and then we'll get doxed. Um, yeah. that so that was it. That's all the shit I watched. Uh, cool. Played some games. 
I played, um, for the 30th anniversary, I played the game Star Tropics NES game. Uh, one of my favorite NES games that, again, I will admit, I never beat. Is this where the character Ness comes from? No. Okay. Um, this is a character... So this whole game, it's it, it was released really only in the West. Um, in the West? In the West, so in not the Japan. West. Uh, it deals very heavily with um, American... Uh, I don't want to say concepts, but, like, you know, the, the kid is, like, the hero is, like, a baseball player, and, you know, um, why he, the... he goes to a tropical vi island and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's not, like, the typical, at the time, J Japanese, you know, like, medieval or, you know, samurai and stuff like that, and legends and stuff. It's very, like, it's a it's a boy on an adventure. Like, that's it. So this game is the reason that there's <clears throat> a baseball bat in no. Smash Brothers. No. Sounds like it is. This game actually has like very minimal um, Smash Brothers representation, which is unfortunate. However, you need to look at the fact that again, it never came out in Japan. Okay. Never. Maybe on Virtual Console or something like that, but never was released physically. Never. Never. Ever. Never. Ever in Japan. But it's a great game, okay. and I can say that fully now because I did beat it and I really uh, enjoyed it. It's it's still one of my favorite games. Just the motif, the island yeah. atmosphere. I really do dig stuff like that. I also played Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. This is the How is the this? newest one. I really do like it. Okay. Um, Hyrule Warriors was one of my favorite games back when it came out on the Wii U, uh, because it's Zelda and it's just mindless hack and slash um, samurai warrior stuff. He and, let me borrow it, and I was like, eh. yeah, no, it, it's not for everybody. But it's something I could just like, you know, I just run around and just kill moblins, you know. Like, yeah. It, it's cool like that. Um, this one has a lot of heavy Breath of the Wild influence. Um, like, there is... Um, it's not as in-depth as Breath of the Wild, but, like, there's uh, cooking mechanics. You could take, you know, find recipes, and it's kind of just like, you know, you just basically press a button, and it's like, okay, cool, now your stats are this for the next battle. Right, right. right. It's simplified, but it's like, you know, that's not... That wasn't in Hyrule Warriors, you know, sure. the, the original one. Um, and there's a lot more lore. Like, there, this basically tells the tale that Breath of the Wild talks wow. about in Legend. Um, as far as, like, what happened 100 years ago uh, when Calamity Ganon first showed up, or resurfaced, let's say. Okay. And you deal with the champions, you deal with Link and Zelda, um, and the king, who, I mean, kind of wasn't there in the in Breath of the Wild, was and wasn't. But I'm, I'm really digging it. Cool. Um, it, it, this is a good game to I'm just glad. be like, you know, like, oh, I've got a pretty good buzz on. I'm not going to touch the story. Let's just do one of the millions of missions that they have on there because it's like, you know, you do this one mission and it's like, okay, now you get a stat sure. boost for this and whatever. Like, it, it's 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 a lot of fun. Uh, but I've been splitting my time with that with uh, our accidental Rude Boys Game Club game, yeah. Hades. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's, let's do the intro. Fuck a duck. So Hades. Uh, <laughs> Hades. 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 Hades is a roguelike adventure game um, with some deep, deep Greek mytholo mythological cuts, man. Yeah. Um, you're the son of Hades, and he's trying to break the fuck out of Hades. See, I know you're very Hades big... Hades the place, not I... Hades the man. I know. <laughs> the man god. I know, you're, man. I know you're very big into Greek mythology. I do like Greek mythology, yes. Ever since did, Hercules. Did Disney's he, Hercules. Did Hades actually have a child? Did you look this up? I didn't get I a did chance look to look it up. This, up. Uh, this character, I believe, is original. Okay. Zagreus, um, I believe. Um, but, I mean, Greek Greek legend, Greek mythology, like, it, it, it's it's one step above comic book mythology. Where oh, it's absolutely. Like, oh, th now this writer said this one thing. Sure, so it's sure. So now canon, you know what I mean? Like, like, it's different. Obviously, Zeus sired a ton of fucking... Uh, Zeus just guys. could not keep his dick Zeus in his pants. To fuck. Yeah. yeah, and apparently, then all of a sudden, his brothers really enjoyed fucking. Well, yeah. like Poseidon. Well, sure. Because yeah. then we got Percy Jackson. See, yep, yeah, you got some Greek Greek myth, myth stuff there. And then um, uh, Blood yeah. of Zeus, which is that that show that was so, out on Netflix. I have um, not checked it out. Phoenix Rising, that new game from Ubisoft. Uh, I'm, a little cur I'm a little curious about it. I'm curious it. about that. Apparently it does not play well on Switch, so pick mm. it up on your uh, PS4. Microsoft or Sony consoles of choice. Rudation. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. But, we're, but we're no, Hades, Hades is Hades. Uh, great. I really enjoyed the top-down um, Diablo style, which right. I know you... That was, I think, my biggest hang-up. Like, I really? liked, I liked... Well, not, not hang-up, but that's that's kind of why I didn't pull the trigger immediately. Right. Um, it... I like the art style. 
Um, the, the writing is beautiful. phenomenal. The voice acting is the phenomenal. Music is the great. music is phenomenal. It's a very well put together game. However, when I was watching it in action, I'm like, I don't like the top down. The, I don't like the top down. I don't like the isometric look. To See, it, I you do. know what I mean. Like a Zelda game, top down, I'm cool with. But like a Diablo or something like that. Like, I gotta like, get you I'm on not, Diablo. All right. Um, I'm not too keen on. But I I stand corrected because I really do dig this game. I have yet beaten it. Uh, I'm like Same. in my high 20s as far as attempts go. But it's definitely a game that I, I get into and I put everything into and then it's a roguelike so you die, you come back stronger and that's the hook to keep playing. Yeah. And also what I find is the hook is the constant interactions I have with the characters. Like every time I come back to the House of Hades, I'm like, all right, I got to talk to Hypnos. I got to talk to Achilles. I got to yep. talk to these guys. I got to talk to Cerberus. Uh, Cerberus. You know, I, 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 oh, I, he's a good boy. Yes, he's a good boy. He's um, boy. Yeah, That's I'm pets. stuck on Meg. I have not beaten okay. Meg yet. She is a bitch. The, <laughs> the thing is, and I, I've felt the same way you are. Like, I, you you face But it's first fun. Boss. It, it's absolutely fun, yes. You face your first boss, and you're like, ah, oh, fuck. So then, like, you get better at the rooms prior to this boss. Mm-hmm. And then you basically come back stronger for the boss. You beat the boss. Then you move on to the next one. And the cycle continues. Sure. Um, I'm I'm having a blast. I know we were talking about what your, your loadout is or whatever it is. Um, I always pick the weapon that gives me the boost of darkness. Okay. So I give you so often. I don't, I, I don't know. I've played more of the game than you have, Tom. I don't know if this is like a thing that unlocks. I forget. But you'll get like a weapon that has like an aura on it. And it gets you... 20% more darkness. That's always what I go for. You mean like your secondary where you go to the chest? No, no, no. No. Oh, you mean the, like the yeah, six? Well, at, at some point in the game then, you'll get a weapon and it'll okay. have like a smoky look to it. And then if you go to it, it'll say like, um, you know, plus 20 or some shit like that. I love the shield. Okay. The, the shield, shield was the first one that actually got me through the second boss. The so shield is probably my favorite. I think I might jump to the bow and arrow. Maybe I'll have a bow little bit of. Good too. Maybe I maybe I, I can actually beat Meg. Sure. Um. So we'll see. We'll Honestly, see. Tom, even if you got to be cheap about it, at, like just to get through, just to get that you oh, know yeah, that yeah, extra yeah. boost. Oh, I'm cheaping the fuck out sure, of stuff. Sure. Oh, absolutely. Um. I do have to keep. I I I keep forgetting to go through doors that like. I can get gifts to give to people to get stuff. Yes. So, yeah, like, so, so I think I've given one gift, uh, maybe two gifts. Right. That helps. But I was told not to just load up one person. Like, Correct. Like go to everybody. What you would want to do as someone who's who's really on the cusp of beating this game, yeah. like, um, or at least beating the story. I'm assuming there's more to it after it. Um, what you want to do is when you get that nectar, I believe that's what it's called. Yes. You want to try to give that to as many people as possible. Yeah, I get... You might want to, it might help to give them more to, um, the people in the house. Okay. Before you give them to the gods. All what the gods do, their gifts are just like, oh, now there might be a better chance of a rare one, you know? Like, yeah. to me, the boons that the Olympians give are great. I don't put much stock into them un unless I, I get to a point where I'm just like, ooh, this could be really good. You sure. know what I mean? Sure, 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 um, sure. But whereas the stuff you get from like Achilles or Cerberus even, um, you get, I think, more beneficial boosts. Um, like I think the one that uh, Cerberus has is you get 25 extra health. Nice. Like right off the bat. And then if you level that up or you take it into battle several times, it, it get, I think it goes up to as far as, as much as 35 okay. or even 50. Um, but you want to spread that out. Okay. Definitely, when you get the nectar, and again, you'll you'll get to a point where you're basically swimming in it because like you'll just you'll come come to a room, destroy it, and then get that shit, you know. And you might get something the, that might give you twice as many, you know. Yeah. Like, the uh, spot that I, like the thing that I'm working towards right now is trying to get the um when you die mm -hmm. and you come back with health. Right. Uh, I'm trying to max that out. I think I need 500 darkness to max okay. it out. Yes, um, I know what you're talking about. So, this. like, that's what I'm working towards right now. Because the way I see it, if I die fighting Meg, boom. Yeah, I'll right come back, back yeah. and guess what? You're dead. That's what... Every time I play the game, it's like I go in for an objective like that. It's yeah. It's just to get, like, oh, you know what? Let me. I, I need a couple more keys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need a couple more keys to level up the mirror so I can get right. more um, skills or whatever the fuck it's called. Or... 
Um, yeah. I need to get more nectar to, to give to this guy. Sure, or sure. Or yeah. I need more darkness to level this up. Like that's always what Regardless, I go in for. Regardless, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Um, and I, I really like you hook. said, and I really think the look is what's keeping me. Sure, the to look it. and the hook. The look is the hook. How about that? Okay. And yeah. the music is well. Yes, is, the music, that the music voice, is so the voice acting good. is awesome. I I rarely skip a dialogue line mm-hmm. unless like the character just is talking just way too goddamn slow. Like hypnos. Hypnos, um, you'll, you'll get to a character, Orpheus, who's like okay. the, uh, the, the musician. That's his brother, right? No. Well, uh, I forget. No, Hypnos is, well, in the I... game, Hypnos' brother is Thanatos. Thank you. Who's deaf. So. Right, 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 right. Um, but, yeah, you'll have a lot of fun with this, Tom. Yeah. And no, I am. The, the, and I'm, I'm glad you're liking it, um, because games like this, I, I've dabbled with roguelikes. I know how you make, are with the game, it's Tom, making, and if it's, you rage quit, it's you're make, done. But the thing but is, if you're though, not, that's great. The, but the thing is, like, yeah, I'm dying, mm-hmm. but like you said, I'm coming, back, I'm coming back stronger. Yes. Um, which is why, like, you know, I do want to pick up Dead Cells. And, like, right. Dead know. Cells is a lot of fun, too. This has way more personality than Dead oh, Cells. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it does. It does. I played that on Game Pass. That was fun. Um, but... I mean, I, I'm I'm really digging Hades. So am I. There, there is a um, toggle, toggle, a option you can toggle. Toggable, toggable. That's a word. Toggle. Toggle. An option you can toggle. An option you, you can right toggle. The first time. Um, called God Mode. Um, yes. And what that does is that reduces the damage you receive by twenty percent when you first okay. hit it. Every time you die, it goes up one percent. Okay. So I think as much as eighty percent. Okay. Um, obviously, I think accessibility-wise, that is that is a great option to have, especially sure. to turn it on and off. Um, and people, if they don't like that, don't fucking turn it on, dickhead. Sure. Don't be don't be rude. However, for me, I might just turn that on just to kind of get through the story, so I could be mm-hmm. like, ah, I like that a lot because this this is uh, it could be up there for game of the year. Yeah. Um, and then Nation, I know when you hear this, the game awards will be out. Um, I think that week, uh, on the tenth. We'll see how Hades does. Hades did get nominated for Game of the Year. Hades? Um, yeah, I think, what, it's Hades... Uh, Hades, Doom Eternal, uh, Spider-Man? Animal Crossing... Not Spider-Man. No? Um, uh, Last of Us, and I think Ghost of Tsushima. Bro, so I've that's, been hearing huge, nothing but good things. Yeah, that, but that's that's a lot of fucking meat up there. And for Hades to get a nod, fucking you're doing man. something right there, Super yeah. Giant Games. Uh, but I'm, God damn, that's that's the word he's stuck on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but we will talk more about Hades, I think, next episode. Yeah. Um, you sticking with it, Tom? Yeah. Okay, good. It's a good game you could drop in and out. Yes, exactly. So, yeah. which is, not when you've been I drinking. Yo. I will refuse to touch it. Hence why I have Hyrule Warriors yeah. to do yeah. that stuff. Hence why I have Mario Kart. There you go. Uh, but yeah, Hades, great. We'll talk about it later. Sure. Um, on a future Rude Boys Game Club. Uh, so now is the point where we're gonna break and get Literally. ready to watch. <laughs> yeah, and get ready to watch Fox's last offerings of Marvel movies uh, in the form of Dark Phoenix and New Mutants. Um, right? Yeah, because I mean, Deadpool two came out after that. I mean, before that, Logan came out before that. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. All right, Tom's already bracing for impact. Um, Dude, I, I'm just... Ah, oh, Dark Phoenix, I'm just... Oh, my God. So what are your expectations, Tom? Low. Okay. <laughs> Fucking, like, Hades low. Excellent. I, I, do you got a jackhammer in the house? Because I just want to jackhammer down to, like, past hell. That's and that, how, it, that That's where you want to go to. That's how low my expectations right, are cool. for this All right, so... Movie. Hey, Nation, maybe get ready to be surprised. Um, we will talk to you soon. Uh, and we're back. And uh, we have watched two X-Men movies in a row. Yes! Basically. Uh, well, we did, not basically. Uh, we did. Though New Mutants wasn't branded X-Men, and Dark Phoenix was just called Dark Phoenix. But no, it's it was called that, it, no, it was called X-Men Dark Phoenix. Well, it does. That's how it comes up on IMDb, well, and that's what I go by. That's what... I think it's called now, but in the marketing, it was always just called Dark Phoenix. It was trash. <sighs> All right, cool. <laughs> well, there's Tom. Jump Clark. right into it. Um, I, I, I feel like I expected worse. I've seen worse comic book movies, especially from Marvel, Fantastic Hi. Four. I'm looking at you. 
Well, Fantastic Four 2015. Yes, 2015. Yeah, that's what I Because, yeah, Fantastic honestly, Four. I will say this. The Fantastic Four that we watched on Rude Boys Go to the Movies episode uh, three? Sure. All right. I'll say three. Yeah, okay. Um, wasn't bad because it did get the whole creep factor of, um, of, Reed uh, Sue. Reed and Sue. Uh, it did, you know, Doom's costume Doom's is fantastic. Costume looks good, yeah. Um, and then the Jessica Alba ones. Uh-huh. Never really saw those all the way through. We so. may have to revisit them then. I'm quite all right. Um, now, are know, they on the Disney Plus Legacy? They are. Yes, right. they are. Um, that's not going to make it, me do it anymore. Yes, but let's talk. Let's talk about these X Men movies. So, sure. so as of right now, as of recording and posting, and probably for maybe the next calendar year, both movies are not on Disney Plus. Uh, Dark Phoenix we watched through uh, HBO Max. Yes. And uh, New Mutants was available on Prime Video. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it's available on other things, but that's where we caught it. Um, so we'll talk about Dark Phoenix. So Dark Phoenix. Um, in the scope of the X-Men movies, what was happening, Tom? So they did the first class soft reboot sort of thing. They wanted to refresh right. everything. And then Brian Singer got a sniff of this, uh, right. like he does with the men's underpants. Yep. And then he got into uh, Days of Future Past, which I thought was cool. I, I like and it. I like a, a good time travel movie. And then movie. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Apocalypse had issues. Lots Which, the issues. funny thing is, even though this movie is called Dark Phoenix, they uh-huh. did show the Phoenix Force in Apocalypse. Well, sure. In the same sense that <laughs> X3... And X2 yeah, exactly. showed her... But, uh, yeah. yeah. They are never going to get this right. Sure. Because um, I, I think a lot of it has I'll, to do with... Um, it's the, a safeguard, you were saying. Uh, what do you mean? Like, the Spider-Man black costume. It's a, it's a safe... What I was about to say, same thing, it's the Thanos effect, where you... How did you get such a great villain out of Thanos? Well, you teased him, you build, you, you build, build yep, you yep, anticipate, yep, yep, yep. and then that's why Infinity War and Endgame were as good as they were, because Absolutely. you had that year of build-up. Companies, Sony, um, Fox, to that extent, they have a problem with wanting to pull the trigger too much. Warner Brothers with DC, sure. they want to pull the trigger and get that release right away that doesn't help you know, a villain like apocalypse needs time to build absolutely um, he's too big yes exactly. just to kind of be like hey come shot right there the he black is black suit in the raimi trilogy yep. uh, you needed maybe a, a little bit time to breathe with that the phoenix itself like give gene phoenix powers yeah. in the, the middle of one movie Yep. have her develop it and then have her break bad in the next one. which is or what they try the, to the do with one. X-Men Apocalypse. Right. Where they showed her pretty much overpowering into Apocalypse. Yes. Um, my biggest issue was, and I think it was your uh, one of your biggest issues, was at the end of X-Men Apocalypse, they show the X-Men in their 90s outfit. Right. Then... The in, very, yeah, the very unique outfits. Exactly. Have, yes. And then in this one, they go to space, which that is one of the only things they got right, is right. that the Phoenix Source came from space. Sure. Okay. They're all in these generic Grant Morrison black like and giant yeah. yellow X, which right. kind of it's kind of trash. Yeah, no, I I don't like um, it. They do they do talk about that. So so we'll talk about the movie, right? So so sure. we know what's happening there. Um, the writing was on the wall, I think, with with Fox being like, um, you know, we need some. This fucking, is it. Yeah, this yeah. is it because Fantastic Four flopped at this point. Um, really, uh, as far as the Marvel movies were concerned, that they had. Or the X-Men movies, really, for that matter. Deadpool and Deadpool 2 were still doing great. Logan was critically uh, well-received. And this Hugh Jackman should have got. still gotten an Academy Award that year. Okay. Um, and this is where this is where we're at. Uh-huh. So, uh, with Dark Phoenix, um, the, the X-Men are the heroes. And for me, for someone who's not really familiar with a lot of X books or X stories, that's weird. Well, because... The, mm, mm-hmm. Because... Obviously, I'm used to um, the X-Men just being kind of like the unsung heroes who just get persecuted for being different. And I get that. But uh, I think it kind of made a little sense narratively because after Apocalypse, like, uh, that was a world-damaging event. So, you know, the X-Men needed to be kind of be at the the face of it, the front of it. And like uh, they mentioned in the throwaway line, the costumes were a way to just be like... Yeah, these are your heroes. Like, you yeah. know, like a cop, yeah. uh, like a police officer. You know, sure, 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 sure. That was their thing. So that was weird. 
to have that because it's like, yeah, great job, mutants, like, you saved the day! Um, and, and, and that was weird. Sorry, go ahead. As a longtime X-Men supporter mm-hmm. right. and X-Men fan, it was cool to see that the X-Men are finally getting, hey, you know what? You're up Getting there. A rub. You're up there with the Avengers. You're right. up there with like the fifth. You know, you're who up don't there. exist in this universe. Like that's you know also what, the thing. You know what I mean? Right. Though. Like yeah. you're you you know you're up there with those yeah. heroes. Right. Finally, which is kind of what's going on in the comics right now. Well, because yeah. well, I kind... think I think politically speaking, that's because the 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 X Men are back into the fold. So now they're getting the the respect they deserve. Sure. At least from the um, co- from the company. Yes. That does yeah, that. Yeah, However, yeah, yeah. the X Men that we read about exist in the same universe as uh, America's first family of the Fantastic Four the and Avengers. the world's greatest heroes. Yeah. You know, so like those Spider-Man. guys get yeah. the yep. get the props sure, sure, all sure, the time, sure. and the X Men do not in the comics. But um, and in the movies previous, mm-hmm. they never hit that level because right. that's how we're used to seeing it. So it was weird seeing it. It was refreshing because it was. It was new. It was something different. So I liked it. Um, at least um, that aspect of it. So then, so then you have. Um, so they go to space. They go to space, which right. is cool. We're gonna have to give a plot synopsis, but you know that's that to me is one of the main things. Sure. You need when you're introducing the Phoenix Force. Right. You need some space. Um, aspect in that. But then, like, they decide to incorporate this. Rando alien, right? Race. So we so we were talking about this, and, and I have nothing to research it or. or uh, oh, I researched while we were watching. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, I'm, glad, yeah. I'm glad your attention wasn't divided at all. Um, the I feel that Fox thought at the time they had rights to the scrolls, right? Um, and this was again the same time I think as Captain Marvel was also being put in development, and we knew that oh they're getting scrolls. So I remember that conversation happening online where it was like okay now we have a marvel studios film with scrolls and we have a 20th century fox film with scrolls though i don't what's think what's going on here fox... but in the same sense that, that that we had quicksilver and quicksilver wanda she was in, which in, honestly in, in, if they, peter they, evans okay. shows up in wandavision that'll blow my mind okay but i mean um, they have a quicksilver in that universe who is dead but you know what i mean like he did exist Right, but she might only be able to bring people back that were. I, actually, we have no, no idea. That, we're that, 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 that doesn't even mean we're Vision could be right come now. back. We're speculating. But anyway, um, where the fuck was I going? I really don't know. I just lost it too. Uh, you? Oh, oh, we were talking about the aliens. <laughs> we were talking about okay, the aliens. Okay, yeah, so, so, so we thought they had the access to the scrolls. They, they don't, do and then they're like, oh, fuck. Well, uh, well Here's I, don't wanna, this... I don't want to change my homework, so I'm just going to change the names. Here... Control F. The Bari. The Bari. Is what that Not alien. Not the Chatari. Yeah, which is what this alien race is called, even though I don't. From what, from what I was reading while we were watching, I don't believe they're shapeshifters. Okay. Again, <laughs> at all. Probably they wanted to do but scrolls, but why? They couldn't. I mean, if you want to, and I was saying this the whole movie, Chris. Uh huh. Bring in the Shi'ar. You could right. use image inducers again. They they probably were like, I think a they lot of they thought it, they had the scrolls. I think a lot of it is like, oh, shape shifting aliens. Fuck yeah, let's go to town. Right. They oh. thought. We can't do that? Uh, right. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No. I mean, it's a really good idea. Well, Let's we, just keep it, you know what I mean? Like, right. That's what I but think it's like, you know, you could have you could have done such a great story with them. Right. Um, You know, of course, James... They didn't Ma- want to do that. Yeah, of so course. Okay. James, much. James McAvoy kills it as Professor X. James McAvoy, Ma- Michael Fassbender, um, the, the cat so- who played um, Beast... I thought he was good, uh, too. Yeah. Nicholas uh, Holt. Uh, Nicholas Holt. Right. Correct. Um, um, the, the young lady who plays Storm. Alexander Ship. Okay. Which I know she is actually um, campaigning to be Storm in sure. the MCU. And I'm like, you know what? Yes. Yeah. No, she, I, she did a she good job. Was good. And, she did a good she, job in Apocalypse, also. In Apocalypse, she's able to keep an accent. Right. <laughs> Let's put that out there. Um, I was saying that I would really love to just... I. I if they knew that this was the last movie, like right. yeah, I don't know if the actors knew that this was the last movie oh, for I, Fox. I, I, I would love to have seen her ham it up, like in the right. X Men well, animated I know, series. Yes, you're a big oh fan my of that. god, by the goddess! 
<laughs> like, fucking just crazy shit like that. Sure, 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 sure. Um, the kid that played Nightcrawler was okay. Um, yeah, I don't like this interpretation of Nightcrawler. I don't like... But I, again, I, a lot of it comes I've, out of the uh, Alec Cumming... I've never liked the movie interpretations of Nightcrawler. Sure. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Ever. Right. Um, but I think, one, Alan Cumming in X2 was fucking fantastic. Yeah, no, he... He's just Especially that first scene. Right. Um, and then there was... Which, you know what, let's jump into it. Um, the train scene. Yeah, so uh, the, the, this movie was played with reshoots and shit and stuff oh like that, God, and yeah. apparently they went to this train fight sequence. Um, our heroes are captured by the, uh, ironically and titled... Mutant... Containment Unit, yeah, MCU. The MCU, which... Um, and, that, uh, I think that was Fox's final, like, fuck you. Right. Well, yeah, it's like, okay, fine, they're in the MCU. Yeah. Um... So they get captured. Um, the aliens are trying to come get Jean and, and uh, get the rest of the Phoenix Force out of her, and um, the mutants have to protect her basically. So you're, everyone is up on display, and I thought it was really cool. You had obviously Storm up there doing crowd control, Beast flipping and stuff, Magneto crushing train cars left and right. You yes. got um, Hair Whip whipping his hair back and forth. Um, I mean, and no, then you I... have Kalisto. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Did, did you see if if uh, any of those characters had um? Dude, names, you know, I was scrolling, scrolling, and then I was just like, nope, nope, nope. Right. I didn't know right. any of these fucking we'll have, people. We'll have to check that out. All fair, but yeah, some throwaway mutants. Uh, oh my god! Like, okay, so one, the dude with the braid, like the Native American that looks like you know he had like the bra- like the braids. Uh huh. He could have been either one of the Proud Stars, okay, uh, James or John Proud Star, sure, um, Thunderbird or Warpath, okay, or he hell he could have even been Exodus, okay, yeah, and yeah. it's just like come on, like, like just say a name, yeah, right, like and uh, dude, that was the thing that was pissing me off in this movie it was like you have all these mutants and you're not saying names, right? Well, like I mean, okay, there was one. Easter egg that you were able to tell because it was Dazzler, right? Yeah, oh yeah, that, she, that was way. Yeah. She had, she was singing, she was doing the light show, she was, she had the makeup going, and it was just like, all right, cool. I know that's Dazzler. Yes, easy peasy. But who's this other jabroni? Right. Oh, is that Kalisto? Oh, no. Nope. Well, that, that's what we were talking about. Like, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't trust Fox or anyone to be just like, no. oh, like they were just like, oh, give this person, no, uh, oh, he's got stretchy arms, make you know, and then oh, give this guy uh, this power. Well, I was saying that, like you know, even when they were doing the first fucking X Men movie, right? That's kind of uh, what they did too. Yeah. Brian douchebag singer, right? Was like, yeah, we're not allowed to have comics on set. And Hugh Jackman goes to his assistant, and goes, go to the local comic book shop, shop local. And he's like, hey, buy me all comics with Wolverine. Right. Like, at that point, I'm pretty sure Hugh Jackman was just starting out. Yeah, he yeah. That, that so was he was just was like, big break. Man. Money, 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 money. Here you go, assistant. You know, and buy yourself a cappuccino if you want. Um, so, so the, uh, the, the female of Magneto's group, that was Celine. No, it wasn't. That's what it says on the credits. I no, can't, I can't. that's lies. Well, they, they, they just threw Tom, a name. I'm just, yeah, exactly. That's, they that's what they did. They're there. just like, yeah, yeah that's late. Yeah. It was like when you had two different fucking, um, Calibans between Apocalypse and Logan. You know, nobody talks. It's just, that's, that's what's Wait, up. Wait, there was a... That was a Caliban, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 you're right, you're yeah. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did like the I I I I liked both interpretations. Okay. Of Caliban. Okay. Um. I could say that's actually the same Caliban. All right, it doesn't matter. What? How? Wait, how? Because one is in the '80s at the time of Apocalypse, and uh, mm-hmm. however far along Logan is. Exactly. Cool. Um, but the train sequence really cool. Uh, Very good cool. action. But yeah, all the Jessica Chastain stuff and the alien stuff. Unnecessary. Uh, actually, yeah, it was just kind of dumb. I kind of feel that once you introduced that alien race, is where this movie fell off the rails. Yeah, it was a little unnecessary. And I, you didn't need I, them. I, I said this to you, Tom, um, when we were done. There's plenty of uh, mutant versus mutant stories that they could, they could have done. There's plenty of mutant versus human stories that they could have done. And in the books, yes, there's plenty of mutant versus alien stories you get. I don't think they really needed it. If you guys... Um, if, but, if, hey, don't get me wrong. X-Men, they're very multifaceted. So the fact that you were able to do that, cool. 
it could have been the Shi'ar, or it could have been God, the Brood, or the Phalanx, or it could have been or anything else friends except for of the Hawks you know, or whatever the hell. You know, Friends of Humanity. Friends of humanity the Brotherhood of Evil. Uh, the Purifiers. Like, yeah, exactly. Something. So, yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> Fox, you failed. Well, clearly. Uh, which I'm they glad... Lose. I'm glad you failed, and I am so fucking glad that the X Men are finally back where they belong. Right. Um, and we will see where it brings, sure. where, where, we'll where it goes, we'll and uh, mm-hmm. I think maybe we'll do a uh, X Men fantasy cast. I don't know if we did that. Oh yet. God, I don't want. I hate fantasy casting. I love it. All right. Well. Okay. Um. So we'll, let's talk about New Mutants, because we, we will talk about what, what we want in, in mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, so New Mutants, man, oh man, New Mutants, if you've been listening to this podcast, you can kind of understand the uh, the, the tragedy of the New Mutants of just uh, the on again, off boy. again, it's, it it's, never coming out. Me. <laughs> um, it, it first got rele- uh, an- announced in the trailer. I, I disliked the trailer because it was the typical, like, let's take a song and put it against some... Uh, some comic book stuff. Yeah. Yep, um, yep, second yep. trailer surprised but me you a didn't lot mind more. That, but you didn't mind that with Luke Cage when they put Wu Tang in there. No, I, I was neutral to that. Hmm. Okay, fair play. Right, because that was working to it. You can gonna have a fucking spooky lullaby song with New Mutants. Like, ooh, I get it. You know. All right. Well, Got Pinocchio with Age of Ultron. I mean, when they did that, it was like, okay, I like that. And then everybody else started doing it. But anyway. Bob? Um. So, New Mutants never came out, came out, is it going to come out, is it going to Disney+, Plus? is it going to go someplace else, is it going here, is it going on there, finally comes out in theaters in August, I think it was, last, uh, last I sucked, I don't know, we don't do I research don't here, but yeah, I it think is you're out, right. I think it was August, it is out on streaming right now, not streaming, it is out for digital purchase right now, and physical purchase too, and shop physical, local, yeah. um, New Mutants, um, Canonically, Tom, it is a new group of mutants. I hate to say it, uh, new, but it is an Xavier's group of mutants, a second class almost, maybe like a, like a, the, the the junior high class, third class, right? But almost it's like the because ju- you had in con- in conjunction the mm-hmm. the main group of X Men yep, at the yep, time. Yep, yep, yep. Um, uh, this team uh, consists of uh, Ileana Rasputin, um, Rain Sinclair. Uh, uh, Roberto, Roberto da Costa, Tommy, yeah, this Sam Gunfrey, Daniel Moonstar. Okay, so that's this group right here, and it's uh, which is, you know, that's kind of like the OGs, right? And this does not have any of the Professor X. Oh, you're safe in the mansion stuff. Yeah. They are um, basically being held against their will, uh, not really to their knowledge yet, um, by a, uh, a a a doctor in a hospital. Obviously, very. Uh, uh, cliche typical the like character's something's name, wrong here yeah the character's name is uh, Cecilia Reyes who was in the uh, X-Men comics during uh, the storyline of uh, Operation Zero Tolerance okay um, she was you know she was a doctor she you know a doctor that worked in like a hospital she wasn't like a psychiatrist which is what I kind of felt she was uh huh um and she, uh, you know, she, she was, she was immune. She ended up being immune. She wasn't happy about it because she felt mutants were the scorn of the world. Okay. Um, but then eventually she got over that fucking hang up. Okay, um, good, good. Yeah, she was a self, self-hating mutie. Um, she's kind of, happens. she's kind of a scumbag. All right, well, um... So, like, her powers, she can develop shields around herself or others. Right, which is on full display. In, Absolutely. Uh, in which movie. I was kind of, I was impressed that they actually went that route. Right. But you find out that, oh, there, this is not a Xavier school. This mm-hmm. is a uh, Essex Incorporation. Right. Um, Deal. Facility. Yeah, facility, perfect. And... For anyone that doesn't know, Essex is one of Mr. Sinister's surnames. Sure, yes. Um, Who is a villain that they are building, obviously to no result, because uh, all that stuff's dropped. But the first we've heard of it, I think, was the post-credits of Apocalypse. Yes. Right? And um, you made that connection, Tommy, that the facility that they are eventually going to become basically child mutant child soldiers was... In referenced Logan. in Logan. Yes. So I, I, I did not catch that. Yep. I mean, you told me about it when it happened, but um, I did not put two and two together. Yes, I was there. 
Oh yes, you're right. You were there. Yes, you're right. Um, <laughs> so basically, that that's what's up, and then um, I they think... have to break out of this yeah. facility. Also, in conjunction, uh, there... Danny Moonstar has a ton of baggage, and she has the the whole demon bear, the whole demon bear saga yep. from the uh, if you're familiar, Rude Nation. That's the the only time demon bear shows up. Well, in this movie, it was. Yeah. No, but I mean, in I mean, in ge- in the comics, in right. general, Demon Bear shows up another couple of times. Okay, well, good for Demon Bear. Um, I'm glad he gets around. Yeah, don't worry, you'll find out in uh, Volume Four when oh, we do God. Trade in the Back. So All right. right. Um, but um, so this I this I thought was fine. The um, I I was super duper over um Ileana's. Bitchiness. Yeah, I was just way over. Like, you know oh, you're what? The, the... You're the bitchy Russian. I get it. But like, you're no, the, like, I was over it. Thinking about it, um, I think line two. I think it was more like okay, you know, she's developed a relationship with these other People. children, right? And now here comes a new one who is essentially going to be looked at as the leader. And yeah. she kind of felt like she was. No, I was, I was. You're giving him way too much credit. The big dog. I think. Well, you're giving okay. Him way too much well, credit. maybe that's you know, you know, in my mind's eye. Sure. That's how I'm seeing. Right. Well, you you have a lot of obviously affinity with the source material. Of the sure. Comic books. Um, and you know the character well, but like uh, I'm done. That legacy virus can't come soon enough. Um, in uh, Ileana Rasputin's. Uh... All I'm saying <laughs> is. She is really awesome in the comics currently. Okay, I'm, I'm glad she was um, a, f- a, a, a B-I-T-C-H in this uh, No, she was, movie. but... I understand uh, that was the point, but it was like, I'm way Whatever her name is, character. Anna Taylor. Joy. Joy. She plays her pretty well. Okay. Like, I, if we were saying that, you know, her accent, uh, Maisie Williams, who plays Wolf Spain. Yeah, her Scottish like, accent. Rain Sinclair. Right. Their accents are better than... The cannibals. Thing. Yeah, his fucking. Yeah, who's his, uh, uh, Jonathan? Bird, 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 who's uh, Jonathan bird, bird, from uh, Stranger Things? Bird, 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 bird. Yeah, that's all I heard out of his mouth. Yeah, but she could just Chicken talk. Pop, pop. Uh, he could just talk normal. He really could have. Like, he really didn't have to ham it up. But no, hey, you really. Didn't. I, that, that's what you get with a young group of actors. Sure. And stuff like that. And, uh, and, and I will give Fox the credit. Like they really were trying to future proof their franchises by having such young cast yeah um for their new group of x-men and also these new mutants did you catch a colossus reference i did not we'd have to look at it uh, yeah i know you did mention that there was i I know they said there was one but there wasn't like i mean i unless we saw i don't know unless you consider her uh magic's one arm turning armor as the reference no um i really did like how she uh iliana had the i get i I guess the uh comfort of a uh, hand puppet Lockheed. Right, yeah. But then it turns out to be an actual, like... Yeah, that was know. cool. Yeah, Lockheed, I, I thought, was well done. Yeah. Um, for something that's just like, uh, there's a fucking little dragon? Okay. Yeah. Like, it, it worked out. I know. Well. I mean, I don't get me wrong. Lockheed in the comics, pretty fucking awesome. Right, okay. Um, turns out to be kind of a dick. All right. Um, um, we don't have to go there. But the I, I thought New Mutants I, both movies were fine. I've spent more money on bigger pieces of shit. I'll say that. Amazing Spider Man. Amazing Spider Man two definitely. Um, that's up there. Um, I well, I mean I did not spend any money on Fantastic Four twenty fifteen version. Like Suicide Squad. Um, I, I thought that was fine. Also, yeah. like okay. I was like, okay, you know, I I've recently watched that. Suicide Squad because they've been playing it a lot on network uh-huh. cable, and I'm like, oh man, I actually watched this in theaters. Sure. Eesh. Thanks WB for just putting all your shit up, so well, I don't have to waste some money. I, I might have to re-question that. Um, but yeah, I, I've seen worse comic book movies in, yeah. my, in my life. Um, but. With the a lot of it also stems from how well Marvel was rocking and rolling back then at these times. Sure. And in comparison, these movies are not as good. They're um, they're Fox status. They're Fox status. There you go. Even better. That's the best way I could say it, man. Good. Um. Honestly, I will say Dark Phoenix. I give it a two. Th- uh, honestly, after talking about it, two thumbs down. Two thumbs down. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, I thought you were going to go the other way, actually. Well, at least one thumb up, but no, two thumbs down. New okay. Mutants gets one thumb up. Okay. 
Um, I'll give both of them one thumb up. Okay. They were fine. I've had issues. Uh, I've seen worse. Uh, they were visually, like, fine. I, I, I dug what I saw. Um, but, eh, that's pretty much it. So, where would you like to see where this, uh, goes now? Um. Like, you know, anyone from these films you would like to see put into MCU? <sighs> um, into, uh, you know, it's kind of weird because, like, I'm... I'm curious where they'll... What they'll do. I'm kind of just, like, at a loss of words. Um, On one hand, it it seems just like Kevin Feige just wants to kind of do his own shit. You know what I mean? Just kind of, like, like, like be the control freak. uh, Not necessarily control freak, but this is his vision, to his respect, and it's been highly successful. So he'll do that. Um, On the other hand, if you look at stuff like Spider-Man and, like, the... You know, I guess I don't want to say the freedom or something, but like the 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 mix of control between like what Sony can do with Spider-Man um, to that respect, mm-hmm. Morbius, Venom, all their things, and have you know J.K. Simmons come back, um, all this talk of Jamie Foxx coming back, sure. all the rumor of Alfred Molina coming back, um, hashtag Save Daredevil, hashtag also hashtag Save Daredevil. Um, I I think. They're open to, and they're accepting of if it worked. Okay, let's let's do it again. Sure. Um, they're open to fan casting. I know, like even Brie Larson. I know when people were like, "Oh, Captain Marvel should be in the MCU," and people were kind of fan casting her. That's what happened, you know. Sure. Not, yeah, not yeah, I don't yeah. want to say like, "Oh, because of that, it happened," but it was like th- there is a certain amount of uh, validity to like, you know, if it works, let's do it. Like, could we get um? a best of the best, you know what I mean? Like You want your get... maximum carnage. That, well, that's, I mean, sure, That's yeah. your best of the I, best. <laughs> I want... I mean, I I think I want my Sinister Six more. Like, like oh. maximum carnage is my, like, ooh, that would be dope, but right, I don't think right, it's going to happen. Right, 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 right. Uh, Sinister Six, yeah, though, no, I, I think, agree. in the hands of uh, uh, Kevin Feige, Marvel Studios, and <clears> to that extent, you know, right. Sony Pictures, they can make that work, especially if they're bringing in some sort of weird, like, you know, pick and choose of castings from the past to do that, because I know they wanted to not redo the villains that they did in the Raimi trilogy and the uh, mm-hmm. two uh, Andrew Garfield movies. However, that's a completely different beast altogether. Sure. With X-Men, you already have a, a group of... You you effectively have... Uh, you, you got the Brian Singer cast, which I, I thought at the time was great. Um, you know, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Um, even Ka- uh, uh, Famke Jensen as uh, Jean Grey. Um, that cast Kelsey Grammer. Played, well, I was going to get to that. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, the dude who played Cyclops. James Martin. Uh, James Martin. He actually, he wants Ian to come McKellen back. Ian McKellen was good as Magneto. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Stewart, great as Professor X. Right. Um, I, I think you have great casting there, and in this new wave, Michael Fassbender, um, James, uh, James McAvoy, McAvoy uh, Rose uh, Byrne, who played Moira. Yes. Um, or McTaggart. Yeah, Moira McTaggart. Um, Alexandra Ship, who plays... Alexandra Ship, who plays, who plays uh, Storm. Um, the, the, even, honestly, <sighs> Sophie Turner as Jean Grey was weird and is what I call hot shot casting because obviously with Game of Thrones but you know maybe she could have had a little bit of a chance to let the character build. breathe and build yep, and stuff like yep, that because yep, we yep. only saw her really two movies in two movies that's it and then she's the fucking big bad in uh, uh, Dark Phoenix so yeah, semi big bad well you know what I mean but like the main force in yeah. that movie um, uh, that was unintentional uh, but now you have also this group of new mutants. Like, like they Bat. do, they do stuff like that. Like, you have, you just have have this stuff. Uh, so, who do I want? I mean, in a perfect world, I would have loved the, the I would say the Brian Singer X Men. Like, if this was if conversation was maybe ten years ago. Well, no, at Marvel Studios have been around for ten years, five years. You know what I mean? Like, have them come in full force, peak. You know, like, let's, you know, right around first class, maybe for, have first class be Fox's shit. You mean minus be, Halle Berry as Stoker. I didn't, I didn't mind that. I know mm. you, you have issues with that. Um, casting, I, that's what I would say. It, it's going to be tough because in the same sense, it, it, it's great to see Spider-Man swinging around with the Avengers. It's also good to have him breathe in his own Sony spider his own you world. know what I mean? Sure. The X-Men are going to get swallowed up completely. You're going to see... If they take it with the same amount of, 
respect they do with their <laughs> MCU heroes that they've developed. Sure. You're not gonna get you're not gonna get guys like Forge in a prominent role. You know what I mean? Like I I don't think you're gonna focus on your recognition guys. Maybe years down the line you might get you might introduce that more. But if they just start doing the thing that Fox does, where they're just like, oh oh oh, there's Dazzler, there's a uh, Warpath, there's Sunspot, there's this, there's that. Under the Marvel eye, that would be that's more respectful, and I feel like that's what you're gonna get. I, re- I feel I, I know I just kind of like flip flopped a little bit. I was I think s- you're gonna get that. You're gonna was- get name recognition, and it's gonna be proper. It's not gonna be just like, oh, that guy looks like Bishop. We're gonna call him Bishop. You know what I mean? See, I was gonna say I kind of disagree with you. Okay. Because they took a D lister Iron Man. Let's face it, Iron Man was a fucking D lister. Right. No one give a shit about him. Right. Yeah, he had a couple of good story arcs in the comics. Mm-hmm. Then John Favreau comes. Yeah, I think if you could find that right person to write mm-hmm. the X Men, you will get you'll get that right. I I'm I'm just afraid that they're gonna look for that money shot and they're gonna just do it and then be like, there's here's your new Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean Grey, Angel, Beast, you know, Iceman. I'm just thinking of like like the mm-hmm. the, the, the mutants that come off the top of my head, Storm, obviously, but but. but I, I, I've been wrong for 10 years. I didn't think Infinity War was going to work. I didn't think Endgame was going to work. I didn't think I would love Guardians of the Galaxy as much as I did. Or Spider-Man being shared between Sony and Marvel. Like, I didn't think I would like that. I've been proven wrong a lot with Marvel Studios, so... And I'm going to tell you why you're going to get proven wrong. Okay. One name. Uh-huh. Who's going to probably end up having a lot of pull with the X-Men stuff. Okay. Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Ryan Reynolds. We didn't, we didn't talk about that elephant in the room. Yeah, I think was... Ryan Reynolds will have some pull sure. with the X Men because Deadpool three is going to be in the works in Disney. I think right. starting twenty twenty one. And rumor has it that it is going to be rated R right. still. Right. Um, it works. You, might, you can't like we said before. So it let's not change it. Let's make it. And and, and 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 honestly, I even think Deadpool would work with as PG thirteen. I really do. I, I th- if they could make it work. Absolutely. They, they, if they wanted to make it a PG-13 movie, they have to make it a PG-13 movie. They can't make an R-rated movie and then neuter it. Dumb it down. Exactly, Correct. yes. Um, but I really they, they think... Make, I mean, Venom was rated PG-13. Yeah. And it so worked. part of that was yeah. just like, okay, yeah. I, I didn't need to see heads getting ripped off and blood everywhere. Like, but I yeah. saw it. It worked. I really think he'll have something to do with X-Men. Okay. Um, and the X-Men universe. Right. Uh, but that's why I am... Uh, Optimistic, not even cautiously I'm, no, optimistic. I'm optimistic. I'm as well. very optimistic about it. So, do you want to see? I, I know it's really hard to speculate this stuff, but like, if we want to kind of give the X Men a bit of a niche, mm-hmm. um, and I think the biggest one that their movies can touch upon that uh, a lot of the movies we've already seen touch upon is the um, the underlying racism not really underlying blatant racism between sure. the humans and the mutants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's huge. Granted, yes, space travel is huge. With, with the X-Men, you can do that with the Fantastic Four. Obviously, different uh, alien races. You Equal rights into. is what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. I- I'm saying, like, what is the angle for these Oh, it'll, 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 it'll totally be equal rights. Right. Absolutely. Because I think that, that, is, the, um, that, is, that is the... the that's the why they are... Time, especially with X-Men. Exactly. Since fucking X-Men number one. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's why they're talking about us having... Um, Oh my god, why am I drawing a blank? The guy that plays uh, Gideon Moff. John Carlo Ex- Esposito. Thank you. Yes. Um, possibly as Magneto. Right. You know, they're possibly thinking about having Magneto as a black and white guy. Right. Uh, uh, Magneto and Professor X as a black right. and white guy. So, like, you know, yeah, they're going to... They, they, they're going to go for those issues. Those sure. social issues. Right, because those are obviously... Absolutely. And unfortunately, still permeate with society yep. today um and it honestly it doesn't matter because it, it we just watched new mutants and we were talking about it new mutants is a very multicultural group of beings yeah you have a native american are still you, also you, you know you have a hick yeah you have a you know you, uh, uh, a uh, scottish girl scottish girl an italian in the comics yeah um you know native american native yes. american and russian. you know russian yeah. so uh, the one thing I would love to see is definitely Colossus from Deadpool and Ileana. Right. This you know, Ileana. 
hang out. Sure. <laughs> like, I, I, That's huge for Colossus. Yeah, I that, that is a big part of his character. I would love, 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 love to see them build to X Men verse Avengers. Avengers, where you get the Fe- like the Phoenix Five, right? Which would be cool to sure. see. I don't know. Though I'm kind of over so the Phoenix. Tough, man, it's so tough. Yeah, I know. We've seen this. And a lot We've of people... seen the Phoenix twice in cinematic. A featured lot, prominently. A lot of people are probably tired of Phoenix. I mean, shit. Phoenix you, is one of the biggest you want, X-Men stories. I mean, you want to go... I mean, if you if you want to just pull a, a story just at a random, do fucking Mutant Massacre. You know, you could do... I mean, you, you got to build that for like five years. Easily. Um... Not necessarily. I th- I think you can't get you can't jump off the gate with Mutant Massacre. You need to have a movie build it to for it. the for the Marvel audience yeah. to establish that yes there is animosity and yeah. yes there are heroes in this um, world who are different who don't look like us or you know presumably you know what I mean or they look like us but they ha- they're born they with these powers amazing powers destroy cities yeah exactly yeah. Um, Dark Phoenix. The whole Phoenix Saga in general is huge with X-Men. Yeah. Um, obviously, time travel and different alternate realities Cable, is, is huge with X-Men. Um, I just want to just make some fucking good old Sentinels. Uh, the Sentinels and Days of Future Past were not bad. No, no, those were not bad. But, you know, you know what? I want give to see me, some fucking Sentinels. Give me, like... Bring some Sentinels in the fucking... Give uh, me the Prime Sentinels. Okay. The ones that look like humans. Sure. Where you're like... Maybe you'll get that. I don't like, know. Like, give me Bastion. So. That's very cool. Huh? She's zero tolerance. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, Such a fucked up story. <laughs> so, I mean, hopefully we, we get some, some information yeah. of what's going on with uh, at the X characters. Obviously, we'll this whole year has been a wash with MCU stuff. Has been the first year without any MCU I stuff. I know. Completely. Kind of weird. I feel naked. Well, I mean, you are. Only from, oh, no, only from the waist up. And on that note. Nation. Thank you for joining us for this wonderful, beautiful episode of Rude Boys Power Plus. We're done. Let, yeah, uh-huh. let us let you know. Let us know what you thought of X Men Dark Phoenix if you saw it. Let us and know. New Mutants. Yeah, or, let I us know. was getting there. Oh, wow. Okay. Jesus. All right. Anyway, well, you finished your sentence. Let me end it for you. Um, but yes, let us know. Hit us up on uh, social media platforms: uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We can be found at the following. Just uh, search for Rude Boys Four Six Nine. Instagram.com, Facebook.com, Twitter.com, um, and let us know. Yes, we are also gearing up uh, for the end of the year. So we got some Rudies we're talking about. We're not doing that yet. We like to do that at the beginning of the of the new year. So we were hold so your fucking fresh horses. We were so fresh. I know. Eye. Yeah. Um, yeah, we got we, we got we got our January episodes already rocking and rolling. Yeah, hopefully oh, 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 hopefully we're better. Than <laughs> but you know what? Like. We gotta keep we gotta keep that spirit up. We gotta keep that Christmas spirit Ooh. up, Tommy, because on the tenth of the month we've got a new Rude Boys top ten dropping, and we're talking about our top ten Christmas yes. movies to help you get you in the season of uh, giving and sharing and cookies and uh, the mm. big old fat man coming down the chimney. I'm not dropping down chimneys anymore, man. Right, I got no, hurt. I, I, I know, yeah. I got hurt and stuck. We don't have to bring it up. Um, so we got that coming up. Next episode, though, we're going to be talking about toys. Oh, okay, Our cool. favorite toys growing up, action figures, uh, model kits, RC cars, whatever the fuck we want to talk about. It's going to be kind of a loose, seasonal, friggin' get ready, put Game your PJs systems. on. Yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be good, good time talking about I'll- your favorite your favorite uh, stuff, toys, yeah. So you're saying I should get a onesie? Oh, I wasn't talking like real. But hey, all right, Tom's a committer. What can I say? Um, that might be located on our uh, YouTube page. We have a YouTube. Yes, we do, Tommy. Shit. Uh, all lowercase. Bit.ly forward slash Rude Boys Rude Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Um, you can mute us. I don't give a shit. Uh, but I do. I'm getting back onto posting the episodes. Uh, there was some uh, technical difficulties having it automatically post uh, from Podbean, but we are getting that going. I'm Work. getting that back there. We also have Rude Boys Reacts uh, for The Mandalorian. We've got, as of recording right now, two more episodes to go. So, man, this series. We had episode 16, right, today? <laughs> 
Chap- <laughs> chapter sixteen, episode four, chapter sixteen. What? Uh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of miscommunication. But whatever, it's out there. It's the but yeah, you know, we, you, we're gonna do more reacts as yes. well. We'll do yeah. reacts, you know, when uh, Wandavision yep, comes WandaVision, out. Wandavision, uh, January fifteenth. Actually, yes. we just confirmed as we were recording. So go figure. Yes. Uh, but yeah, there'll be uh, Rude Boys reacts for that. Rude Boys reacts for everything. We'll try to Rude Boys reacts. Whatever. I'm gonna eat this pizza. I'm gonna give you a reaction to it. Uh, spoiler alert: It's fucking good. You can find us uh, on beautiful, wonderful, amazing podcast platforms. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher. Um, what's that other one? Spotify. That's a big one. Spotify. Mm-hmm. Tune in. Uh, but our headquarters, uh, where we like to lay our hats and um, put our put, put the meat down, is uh, Podbean. So you can find that at rudeboys.podbean.com. Flick that new bean! <laughs> All right. Uh, I was going to say XP, but okay. Mm. Nah. Nah. <laughs> so um, weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Th- th- thanks, Nation. Thanks for sticking with us. Absolutely. Um, we watched through fucking five hours of the weakest X-Men movies. And, uh... Well, I won't say the weakest. Well, some of the weakest X-Men movies. Just for you. I hope you appreciate this, all I mean, right? You better fucking listen. Yeah, you better listen, like this, subscribe it, get, hit us up in the comments. Um, we love you. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Power Plus. Can't wait to talk about micro machines. This has been a presentation of the Rude Boys Podcast Network. Um, oops.